He's best known for the Stetson that he wore on Dallas. Despite roles on film and on stage, Hagman will always be remembered as the villainous J.R. Ewing. And you drove Cliff to attempt suicide? How was I to know he was going to do a dumb thing like that? When J.R. was shot by an unknown assailant, it became one of the most famous cliffhangers in TV history, watched by 300 million people from all around the world. Hagman never expected the show to endure. Honey, I just started this show doing six shows. I never thought I'd do 300. In fact, the Dallas franchise was so successful, the series was recently reprised. The U.S. network TNT brought it back with a new generation of Ewings, and Hagman came back too, returning as JR once again. Critics say he was the best thing about Dallas, but explaining the character's appeal, Hagman once said, the time is ripe for a real bad guy, and I'm it. Have a good day, Master. Oh, I'm gonna have a wonderful day, Jeannie. It was a good guy who Larry Hagman blasted into people's living rooms, playing astronaut Tony Nelson on I Dream of Jeannie. The show was a hit in the 1960s and is still popular in syndication. Even as a kid, Hagman orbited in showbiz. As the son of Peter Pan star Mary Martin, his movie roles included Up the Cellar and Harry and Tonto. I don't need an office anymore, Pop. I'm living off the cream now. It was only after milking a huge contract from the producers of Dallas that Hagman became immensely wealthy. He had houses, he had cars, he had vices. Two of them included drinking and smoking. He smoked for 24 years, gave it up, and became an anti-smoking activist and spokesman for the American Cancer Society. Jason, I've met at least 30 or 40 people that said they quit because of my personal involvement, which makes me feel really good. He stopped drinking in 1995 when he was diagnosed with liver cancer and underwent a life-saving transplant. If we'd won in Vietnam, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Nobody's fault, Jack. In recent years, Hagman appeared on the big screen in films like Nixon and Primary Colors. But it is his role as the charming and conniving oil man that audiences will never forget. Colleen McEdwards, CNN, Atlanta. We'll take another break. We'll be back with the sports news. Welcome back. Dozens of players began the journey to claim the title of the best draft player in Banjul, many of them from the various booths that littered the streets of the greater Banjul area, but it was the genius of an emerging star in Abdul Sise that signed gloriously in the championship. Our Bob Karsangor reports, the star of Dobson Booths is a deserving champion of a very competitive championship. It was a show for Gambia's finest draft exponents, dominated by Banjul's best, with Dobson's King of the Trade crowned champions of the Modu Fall Memorial Championship. The All Girls School of St. Joseph Senior Secondary was the venue of this round of the Gambia Draft Association Championship. It was a classic venue for the thrilling competition, a perfect tribute to a game which owes much of its success to a steady mind and faultless concentration. The Modufal Memorial brought together some of the top performers in Gambia Drought and the cast was led by the unmistakable figure of Suleiman Norman, a true champion of the game. But on this day he was led through by a supporting cast of some of the finest up and coming players in the game, ably represented by the likes of Abdul Sise and Pa Bojan, both from the Dobson Vu. Dobson Street Vu has become a hotbed for the production of top talent and the members of the VU demonstrated their superiority once again, providing the majority of the players in the last four. The celebrated figure of Suleiman Norman entered the semifinals against one of the first faces of Gambian draft in what looks on paper as a foregone conclusion in favor of the veteran. 
the brutal truth is neither player gave in. In this mortal semi-final contest, the pendulum swung back and forth and in an amazing class of thought and ideas and style. What later transpired in the contest was an advert for the game in the Gambia. This was not written in the script, as the game was destined for a nail-biting stalemate. Umpire Sambanja intervened to flag Abdusize, winner on time. Unity Vu's flag bearer and one of the leading faces of Gambian draft briefly and heartily contested the decision, but the reality is the moment has arrived when a new face and a younger poster image emerges to take this sport to a new exciting phase of its development. An order of Dobson's finest in Pabuj and gate crashed into the final, upsetting Aruna Jeng of July 22nd Vu. Another established name in the game is out. The final game between the two Dobson players was another tense affair. There was little to choose between Bojang and Sise, but after a first time still meet, Abdul Sise gloriously weaved his magic to win the contest, much to the delight of the many who thronged the venue to watch the finals. It was a moment to celebrate the genius of the best in the trade and for the new breed of players to look back on the life of Mudufal, the once avid supporter of the game in Banjul. For once, the feel of genuine change swirls in the air as draft's best young talent plot to emerge from the shadows to take their rightful places alongside the giants of the game. The Jarvis body is by person. Well, before we go, a reminder of our top stories. Five skills training centers have received close to a million dollars in fund from Gambian Children First, a Dutch NGO operating in the country. Post-Mubarak Egypt is, treating, is teetering on the brink of another full-scale constitutional crisis as critics of the new Egyptian government slam President Morsi for his decision to assume sweeping powers. Turkey has called for the deployment of NATO Patriot missiles on its soil as the Free Syrian Army sweep across the Euphrates Valley along the Syria-Iraqi border. An actor and celebrated icon of 20th century American television, Larry Hackman, has died, age 81. That's all in this edition of the news. Thanks for the pleasure of your company and do stay tuned to GRCS and enjoy the range of our programs. From me, Farmer of Papana. See you at 23 hours.